Uh, I feel like this video should be called something quirky and clever like life's a peach but we all know that I'm not the quirky YouTuber. Um, there are plenty of other girls that fill that gap perfectly and are hilarious. Me, not so much. But I wanted to talk to you today about my kind of top picks for kind of peachy um, blushes and lip products for spring and summer. They're a really, really flattering shade. I love wearing peach shades when I've got a little bit of a glow going on. I don't feel like they suit me when I'm really pale. When I've got a bit of a warmer complexion, I feel like they're really, really flattering. And there's so many shades and they're generally speaking kind of suit all type of um product so i'm going to talk you through my kind of top picks and i'm going to start with blushes the first blush that i love and that i'm actually wearing on my feet today on my peach on my cheeks today is by mua and this is their cream blush in scrummy and this is really really pretty i think these are around two or three pounds like i said i've got it on today really really great cream blushes they've got a beautiful finish they're very very pigmented i'll show you right here you can see that very very pigmented and leave a beautiful kind of sheen but then they set and they last really really well which is something that I feel cream blushes usually fail to do these don't they're really pretty and they just give that kind of nice flush of color on your cheeks really really recommend these and like I said I think they're only like two or three pounds then I've got a couple um, more expensive ones this one is a classic and this is max um, peaches which as the name would suggest is a kind of nice mid-tone peach color very pretty again i can only really wear this with a tan and it's quite a subtle type of shade which is very pretty and a very nice blush as are all mac blushes the this is one of the sheer tone blushes i always tend to go for the sheer tone ones for mac i'm not sure why but it's not super sheer the kind of color is buildable and it's really really pretty and then i've got two kind of other higher end options here and these are both from clinique and if you've been watching my videos over the past couple of weeks you'll know that i'm seriously into their um, cheek pops this one is called ginger pop and this is the one i've worn most of last week and it's just this really really pretty kind of pale um almost rusty peach color it's not as kind of vibrant as the one i'm going to show you in a minute but it's a very kind of pretty uplifting shade and i like these they're a very very unusual um type of product and i will do a full review of them soon then the next one is called peach pop which is a kind of um self-explanatory name really isn't it and this is just more of a vibrant kind of lively shade i'd wear this when i've got a little bit more of a tan and um I think this would kind of be nice if you've got a slightly darker skin tone as well. I've got kind of um, self tanner on at the moment, but it's not super dark. I'm quite kind of, I'm not quite pale, but um, I'm not as tanned as I can be. So I would save this for when I'm a little bit more tanned, but it's a lovely, lovely option nonetheless. And then the last one is a kind of highlighter, blusher type of product. And I think this line's been discontinued, so maybe I shouldn't have mentioned this. But this is from Famous by Sue Moxley. My secret drug still stocks these, but um, maybe some don't. And this is in the shade Baked Bronze. Oh, it's their bronze pot in the shade 4, sorry, which is called Barley. And it's just this kind of... Um, mac mineralized skin finish type of product beautiful sheen and um sort of lightly pigmented as you can see there i wouldn't really use this as a blush i think it's more of a highlight and it's very subtle but pretty when you put it along the tops of your cheekbones in fact i know you're not supposed to do this with a powder but i haven't got a brush at hand but i'll show you if you just kind of dust it along the tops of your cheekbones it does create a nice kind of highlighted effect and it's really pretty and i love these kind of types of baked blushes i just think they're lovely and gorgeous so that's that one and then the last one is a kind of super super budget option and this is by collection and this is their classic peach melba natural collection sorry i always mix get mixed up between natural collection and what was collection 2000 but is now collection really confusing but this is peach melba i know a lot of people talk about this it took me forever to pick it up because it was always sold out so it must be very popular but i really really think this is pretty their blushes are really lovely and the only thing you want to note with these is the packaging is really really um flimsy and not very nice i mean you can see it's not nice looking packaging first of all but it's also very flimsy and it comes out very easily so what you should probably do is get a magnetic palette and just depot them into that i've got a bunch of eyeshadows that need depotting and putting 
turning into a magnetic palette, uh, palette actually I need to buy one let me know if you know of any good ones that you really like because um I definitely need to do that so really really like this and I think it's something ridiculous like 179 or something like that and I'm just going to have a little water break for a minute it's super warm today and then I'm going to move on to kind of peachy lip products. These are a little bit harder to work than the peachy blush. And it's more to do, I think, with the kind of tone of your lips. I've got quite dark lips. So on me, they kind of can look a little bit of a weird colour. And you need to really prep your lips and kind of do a bit of lining. And make sure you've kind of covered it properly. But this is a really lovely option. This is from the um, Colour Burst Matte Balm collection by Revlon. This is called Mischievous. And it's just this kind of nice, pretty peach orangey colour. You can see here it is more of a kind of bright peach than an orange. But I love the formula of these. They're beautiful. And I did a full review of these if you're interested in that. So I will link that down below. But a very, very pretty option. Quite a strong option for a kind of a statement lip. And like I said, you need to kind of really work the shape so you don't get any patchiness if you've got darker lips because I feel like peach for some reason really shows up if your lips aren't in great condition and then the next one is what I'm actually wearing on my lips right now and this is an interesting choice because I actually featured this in my disappointing products video the last one I did I'll link it down below and it's smoked peach by Revlon as well really really pretty I love the packaging of the lustrous lipsticks from Revlon but I only featured it because it says it's matte and it isn't as you can see I'm wearing it now it isn't matte at all I'll swatch it here for you so you can see it's just a kind of very pretty apt smoke peach shade really nice but just not what i was expecting and i'm sure they did do it in a matte version at some point because i've seen it but this one is says matte smoked peach but it isn't so i do like it i will use it it looks really nice if you're going out in the evening and you do like a kind of smoky eye quite strong eye this is a good one i would go for something like this over a nude because nudes don't really suit me then I've got two by the body shop and the first one I want to mention is actually one from the newest um, line in the body shop which is their colour colour crush lipsticks this is number 18 I wish they had names um, and this is just this kind of pretty it's sort of a peachy coral but the thing with these is I'm running out of swatch space um, is that they are very very sheer so it's this one here it's kind of like a peachy um, pinky shade this is really lovely the formula of these is beautiful they're really kind of juicy and pretty easy to wear great kind of summer colors and um in fact i like all the ones i've tried from this line the packaging's nice i think these are a great lip product and then this one is from the kind of regular line from the body shop and this is in um number 315 and this isn't as sheer. This is more of a kind of shimmery, um, nudie peach. So this is a nice one if you like something a little bit more natural and not too much of a kind of pop of colour. This is a nice option. And then last but not least, I have got two peach glosses. And I like to incorporate a little bit of gloss here and there. I'm wearing some gloss now actually. And I'm wearing this one by Miners, which is Duchess. It's one of their, what are these called, Luxe Lips Cream Glosses. I really like these. I think they're a really good um, kind of product. And in fact, they're a dupe for the one I'm going to mention in a minute. But this is what the colour looks like. I'll put a little bit more on. Really pretty and very pigmented and just lovely. Looks nice on its own as well. And again, minor, so it means it's very inexpensive. And then my all-time favourite gloss is this one by Revlon, and it's Coral Reef. The name Coral really isn't very true because it's not really a coral. It's more of a peach. But it's just got a little nice doe foot applicator. Really pigmented. It's got a lovely kind of sweet scent to it and the packaging of Revlon is just very Chanel-esque I feel. Don't you think? Like with the gold and the black it's very expensive and chic looking. So those are my top picks for peach cheeks and lips this spring. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do the um, tag that's going around at the moment about lip products, can't think what it's called but let me know. Um, the Is it lip? I want to say it's called like lip product tag but not I don't think that is what it's called but if you want me to do that then definitely let me know and I will get on that um, for you but if you've got any great suggestions of peachy type of products then definitely put them in the comments down below I will list everything I mentioned down below as well and I hope you'll have a great day bye